What's up everybody, welcome to BioWise 3 Raw TV. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that fucking... <laughs> it's another one of those internet trends. And I see a lot of girls do it, but I see a lot of guys do it too. More, more girls than guys. I don't know why girls have this need to share every single fucking thought that they have on Instagram. Like every single fucking thought they're like, oh there's a cloud. Oh I saw a cloud today. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, who gives a fuck, right? The new thing, one of the new things is balance, right? All these motherfuckers are finding balance. Oh my god, I finally found balance. Listen, you have not found balance, okay? You're not the karate kid on the fucking boat moving back and forth. You haven't found shit. For 20 seconds in your fucking life while you make that post, you think you found balance, but I've seen this post like, this is the most balance I've ever had during a prep. I'm so balanced. I've got to figure it out. As soon as you think you've got to figure it out, guess what? You don't have shit figured out, and life is gonna bitch slap the fuck out of you as soon as you turn around and go, I got balance, boom. That's your bitch slap, that's what's gonna happen, okay? The only positive truth about balance is on a daily basis it fucking changes. There is no such thing as balance that's positively the same all the time. It doesn't exist. So today you have balance, my God, I feel so good, listen. You're getting ready to do a show and you found balance. I guarantee you show up at that show not in your best. I guarantee you fall short somewhere. I guarantee with your balance, you are slacking off somewhere in that prep. Now, if you're not a competitor, I don't give a fuck. Balance your face off. I don't give a shit, right? But if you're a competitor, balance is out the fucking window. You want to do as good as you possibly can. I don't mean win because there's always somebody better. You want to do as good as you possibly can, balance is out the fucking window. You concentrate on that. Just like when you went to school, if you're trying to pass a fucking test, when you cram, you're not reading and at the same time doing fucking yoga and at the same time baking a fucking cake and talking to your mom on the phone. You're not balancing shit. You're studying for that fucking test because there is no balance because that test is all that fucking matters tomorrow. But you seem to have found balance between going out with your friends and partying, going fucking to the movies and shit, which makes sense, right? But eating the popcorn and the fucking jujubes at the fucking, at the movies while doing your prep. And I'm sitting there going, but you actually look like you're behind. Like you're four weeks out, you look like you're 12 weeks out. Your balance is not working, okay? But you tricked yourself because someone told you. Someone who has never really accomplished what they wanted to themselves, someone who failed themselves, has told you about balance because that was their cop-out. Their cop-out was, well, you know, I just had to spend all my time in the gym and I had to do cardio twice a day and, you know, I was only eating certain foods and it made me upset and, you know, I had to spend time away from my family. That's called fucking anything that you're really trying to achieve. That's what happens. Whether it's a job, whether it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Like, you got to put your all into something that's important, that takes you all of your attention. So a competition takes all of your attention, all of your energy, all of your pride, all of your everything for that period of time, but then it's over. The day of the show, it's over. So you're trying to tell me that you can't sacrifice for the amount of time while those other motherfuckers are sacrificing. I tell you right now, those motherfuckers sacrificing, giving it all they got, they're going to whoop your ass. That's how it works. Okay, now you get the genetic freak, but there are also people out there who, uh, Matt Ogus was the perfect example, who tried to find balance with the Chipotle every day. And I remember watching that fucking thing because I wanted to see Matt succeed. I wanted to see Matt Ogus eat those Chipotle burritos every day from Chipotle, right? Makes sense, Chipotle burritos. Anyways. I wanted to see him eat those burritos and win that pro card in that fucking competition. That's what I wanted to see. And when he finally got to the competition, I thought he looked phenomenal. When he stepped on stage as the other guys, he lost. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that Matt wasn't as sharp as those guys. He's pretty sharp. Those other guys are even fucking sharper because they didn't give a fuck about balance. They wanted that fucking show. They wanted that pro card and they were going to do whatever the fuck it took. Now, Matt, looking back, I remember him saying... I couldn't control some of the macros because they were just throwing food on the fucking Chipotle thing. So I estimated it as much as I could. Those last weeks or whatever, those four weeks, I should have tightened it up, not eaten out, just made the Chipotle at myself at home where I can control the macros, which would have tightened me up even more and I probably would have won, right? So the balance is what actually kept him from accomplishing his goal. And Matt's one of the most genetically gifted motherfuckers out there and has one of the best work ethics and consistency out there that I've ever seen for somebody his age. And he still was not able to accomplish it by trying to find balance. Now. Matt's day-to-day -day life when he's not competing, his balance is fucking perfect. He's got a family, he's got a kid now, he stays fucking lean, he goes to the gym and trains, he's doing his ebooks, he's doing everything he needs to do and it's completely balanced and the kid's got a smile on his face all the time. But when it comes time for top competition, 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 that whole balance thing is out the fucking window. And I'm watching these people go, well, I found so much balance and you know what happens? Here's what happens. They fail at accomplishing their goal, right? And the first thing they're going to say was like, well, didn't place where I wanted to, but I accomplished the goal of finding balance. What you really did was not put your all into the fucking goal. So you basically cheated yourself. You cheap shot at the fucking show 
and then you're gonna pat yourself on the back afterwards that you didn't give it all you got because you got balanced? What the fuck? No wonder why people nowadays fail at fucking everything constantly and then they give up. They don't even fucking, they're just I'm not gonna do it anymore, I'm not gonna continue because they, they cannot fathom the fact that something will consume them in their whole life. Now here's the thing, for 12 weeks of your life, it's like a drop in the fucking bucket. It's literally one drop in a bucket of your life. But they can't handle the fact that they have to buckle down and do the things that the other people are doing right now that are going to beat them to be able to be on stage with them. So what they do is they make up this whole fucking facade and they actually brainwash themselves into thinking that balance is more important. Listen, I get it. Life balance is super important. I don't have a good life balance. You know, totally honest with you, I work more than I should, but that is just what I want to do with my life and I'm okay with it, right? But balance in general is a good thing. However, if you have a fucking athletic endeavor that you're trying to accomplish, right? So we're going to use like football. If you want to be in the NFL, guess what? You know, I watch kids at um, my gym in Maryland who are in high school right now that are pretty good at football. And their parents have them after school training in the gym with these, these football trainers, right? Or the sports trainers. They have them on weekends training with these trainers. They have them fucking eating a certain way. The parents are supplying the food certain ways for the kids. The parents are giving them supplements. The fucking parents are making them go during the summer to train with these fucking trainers so that they can be better, so that they can go to a college that they can get a scholarship to. Like That is their goal. Their goal is to get that scholarship, to go to school, to play football, to hopefully one day go to the NFL. And that is what those fucking kids are doing. Now, you think balance, right? If you have 14 kids and that one with balance, you think he's going with the other kids? I got news for you. They're going to leave his ass fucking behind because you cannot balance something that you have to focus on. Like, if you want to be a lawyer, right? I have a couple friends that are actually lawyers that got out of law school when I was a little bit younger, like when I probably should have been going to school. Anyways, but the bottom line is when they were getting, you know, they're going through and they had to pass the bar and stuff, they had to literally isolate themselves to accomplish that fucking goal. Balance comes later on. And I think that a lot of people think about everything now, now, now. Like, I need balance now. I need a million dollars now. It's like, listen, that's not how it works. If you chose to do this fucking show, then give it everything you got. Don't give it 80% and call it balance. It's basically not giving it your all. Maybe you're the type of person who doesn't know how to give it your all. Maybe you don't know how to give 100%. I'd rather see somebody say, listen, I'm giving it everything I got, but I think I could give more. I just don't know how to give more. I would be like, that's an honest answer. Let's help the kid out. Instead, they go, wow, I'm giving 80%. I'll just give 50% and call it balance. I'll be able to eat my ice cream and I'll be able to go out with my fucking friends and drink. That was the best one. I was able to go out with my friends and have some cocktails. I'm like, bitch, you got a show in five weeks. You're eight weeks behind in your fucking prep. You look like a goddamn doughboy and you're fucking out there drinking alcoholic things. I'm like, fuck, balance is just like, it's, got, it's, an, it's one of those key words. It's one of those key words that I think professionals and people that have accomplished a lot have realized I did all this shit, you know, a perfect example, I'm not a competitor anymore, right? I would love to compete again. The torn pec and rotator cuff are not allowing that to happen. Therefore, I need to find balance in my training, in my cardio, in my diet, because I'm not going after that goal anymore. So I don't need to be so focused on getting to a certain spot on a certain day. But I've already done 20 years worth of bodybuilding and then three years worth of physique competitions. So I've gone through 23 years of competitions where I did isolate myself and stuff and I didn't always win, but I gave it everything I had. I gave it my best shot. If I fell short, I didn't leave anything on the table. I may have fucked things up, but I gave it all the effort that I had. So therefore, I can talk about balance. But if you've done two shows in your fucking life and this is your second show, okay? And the first show was just like fucking 30 people on the fucking show. There's one person in your class or you're the only person in your class. You're going to try nationals next because you fucking qualified. And you're getting ready to walk on a national stage to try to get your pro card against some of the best people in the fucking country. You're talking about balance. You are going to get bitch slapped right off that fucking stage faster than you can say, holy shit. And it is going to hurt, guys. I'm telling you right now, when you step on stage, you're not ready because I've done it. It wasn't because I fucking didn't give it my all. It's because I made fucking bad mistakes, listened to bad people, didn't listen to my coach. Sometimes I made mistakes, but it was, it was the effort, the effort, the effort. At least when I walked up the stage, I said, I should have listened to my coach about that. Fuck, this is my fault. I didn't listen. But I gave it all I had, and that part was fulfilling. These motherfuckers are talking about balance. Dude, you don't need balance. You need fucking to sit down, buckle down, and fucking try to accomplish something. But I look at other things, and I'm like, you haven't really achieved much anywhere else either. You didn't go to school. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You don't have a good job. Like, nothing is happening in your life that's balanced whatsoever, except the fact that you keep juggling things in order to keep failing so that you can use the guise of balance. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, I guess... You have to be on the outside looking in. Like maybe when I was involved in the same type of things, like I, w I didn't know that I was doing that stuff. Maybe me being on the outside looking at them going like balance, you don't even fucking do anything. There's nothing to balance. Like you only have one thing you're doing. What the fuck are you gonna balance? 
Like, do the one fucking thing, get done with it, and then fucking figure it out from there. Give it your all for the one thing. So be aware, guys. Like, just because you read these fucking posts online with these people talking about balance, the only absolute with balance is balance changes every day. There are things that come up every single fucking day, circumstances, incidents, fucking whatever pops up every fucking day that can throw you off from your balance that, you know, let's face facts. If you think that you have found balance now, you have absolutely brainwashed yourself into thinking that you have found something that doesn't fucking exist. Balance happens on a daily basis and you need to actually seek out and try to balance things on a daily fucking basis. And that's never going to stop until the fucking day you're on the ground and you're not breathing anymore. That's when that ends. Bioshing training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.bioshing.com is the blog. It's the balance bicep. The balance bicep. The balance bicep. And we are out.